Hello and welcome to a new video of the SAP UX Explorer short video series. Today I would like to talk a bit more about transition paths, as this is one of the hottest topics in all of my talks to customers and partners. I'm assuming you have watched our earlier videos about my general options to improve user experience and how to set up a customer UX improvement project. You will therefore already be aware that your UX improvement steps pretty much rely on your own given environment and boundaries. As a good starting point to talk about possible transitions, we should look back for a second. Let's have a quick review of the history of UI frameworks, UI tools, applications and content. Everybody knows StunPro ABAP. Do you know when it was first introduced? This was way back in 1992. And of course, this was also when SAP first introduced applications on top of it. Today, we often refer to these as classic applications or classic transactions. Since then, SAP has created more than 300,000 screens on top of this framework. And if you think about the custom developments by partners and customers, you can imagine how many screens are out there. A huge base of valuable applications for many of us. While we all know that there were other UI frameworks being developed, let's keep focused on those most relevant to us today. In 2004, this was WebDumpro ABAP. And again, SAP started application development on top of this framework. You should know at this point that SAP was not just developing applications that were either completely new in the portfolio or replacements of existing transactions. SAP has also created a huge amount of valuable predefined content such as work lists, landing pages and side panels that can still be relevant on your UX improvement journey. In 2006, SAP improved the options for building applications by introducing a tool that enabled composition-based development. This tool is Floor Plan Manager and is still valuable both for building applications and, very importantly, to easily adapt applications coming from SAP. More recently, SAP UI 5 was introduced in 2011. Again, this was, and still is, the basis for application development at SAP. The most famous example of this development is of course the SAP Fiori applications. Finally, 2014 saw the introduction of the new SAP River Rapid Deployment Environment, or short SAP River RDE, that enables its developers, similarly to what Floor Plan Manager does for WebDoom Pro ABAP, to build applications with a composition-based approach. Again, like Floor Plan Manager, the SAP River RDE can also be used to adapt applications much more easily. You might wonder whether SAP Screen Personas fits in this picture, and of course it does, as it closes a very important gap. Introduced in 2012, SAP Screen Personas makes it possible to easily adapt existing DUNPRO ABAP applications. However, and this is why I didn't want to mention it earlier, it is not designed to develop new applications. As such, this is the main difference when compared with Floor Plan Manager and SAP River RDE. This provides a good starting point for us to start discussions on transition options. Maybe a good point in time to stop this first part of the video. In the following two parts, I will continue with the platform below these environments, explaining how you can transition from here to there, and show you how the UI clients can help you to achieve this. So stay tuned and don't forget to comment or like this video and check out the links to the SAP UX Explorer for more details about the frameworks and tools we have spoken about.